Scubers. The workbench is looking like a bit of a mess. It is. Right, back to the Tamiya Thunder shot. I've got all the spare parts and let's have a look what I got. I don't know if you remember, there was a couple of bits I said, oh, probably super glue. I didn't want to make this into a, um, a re restoration project. I just want to get it going. But I found a website, Time Tunnel Models. I can't recommend it enough. And they have got a lot of classic model kits, spare parts. So I got a spare tub because mine was cracked, if you remember. I was missing a couple of bits like that. And at the time, I was like, oh, never mind. You know, a bit French attitude towards it. Sean's a lise, and the um, French say. <laughs> I needed some gears. And I've got them. Look at that. They were... Well, I can't remember how much. I'll put a link below. And you can have a look. And I needed, obviously, a front mounting piece, which you'll see as it all goes together. And the front differential um, casing was a bit knackered. That was about eight pounds, I believe. Maybe 10, it was eight or 10 pounds. So that was a good purchase, I thought. So I've got that purchased. And to make it free delivery, I was about two pounds short or a pound sunk short. So I've got some AA batteries to save myself, five pounds delivery or whatever it was. So it's free delivery over 30 pounds. Also since last week, I've had a rummage through my box, I, or box of goodies. I've got the receiver, 27 megahertz. We're gonna keep this kind of realistic to its time period. And an old Tamiya ESC, electronic one, compared to the original mechanical unit there. So like I said, we'll keep this. We might flog it on eBay, or if I find someone that needs it, that desperately would like to make their thing authentic and totally retro, that's a good piece to keep. Right, I'm gonna bring you in. You're gonna watch me through time lapse rebuild this now, and there might be a little bit of running commentary over the top of what I'm doing. So let's bring you in.
Right then tubers, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was different from the first, I kept talking you through it, but um, there was more to learn on that part. You already know, if you've watched part, if you haven't watched part one, I'll leave a link down below. So you already know what was broken, what wasn't broken. Putting it back together wasn't without its own issues. Um, learned there's some bits perhaps not quite right with the kit. Um, falling in love with it a little bit and I'm gonna probably treat it um, to the, well I say probably, I am gonna buy the upgraded bearings for it. They're only five, six pounds on eBay. I'm gonna get some more tires for it and in time I'm gonna try and hunt down a better body shell and perhaps even the original rear spoiler if it had one. Now, at the front here, when putting it back together, I've realized that it possibly had a anti-roll bar type of affair going on. Um, unfortunately, the previous owners, or perhaps it never even had one, from factory and it was an optional extra, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna see if I can get the little bits like that because I've actually really enjoyed getting this running again. Now you probably don't believe me, but I promise you, this kit is now fully working. Look at that. Steering. You can see from um, the way the wheels are moving, if you want to power it up again quickly, the bearings are shot to buggery. I'm going to have a little play with it. Um, tomorrow or some other day and add it to the end of this for another minute on top of the video. In fact, I might have to end the video now before someone drives it off the workbench before I actually get to feel the fruit of my labour, but I've really enjoyed it. It was quite cheap. I spent eight pounds on the Thunder shop buying it. It's cost more getting the spare parts than it did getting this heat to start with, but well, I'm really chuffed with the way that come out and that's another one to the collection. Anyway, thanks for watching. How big is your love?